Hi guys, my name is Tim Newsom. You're watching Skills and Drills. This week we're making a drill called Man On and Time. I've got two helpers with me today called Mason and Malcolm. Say hi guys. Hey. Hola. We're going to demonstrate and go through how to play Man On and Time. Okay, if Malcolm would like to get between those two yellow cones, Mason between the two yellow cones. Okay, I'm gonna teach these guys how to play the game, but also with you guys watching, you'll be able to figure out pretty quickly what's going on, okay? Just for warm up guys, all I want you to do is take one or two touches, just pass the ball to each other. Make sure you stay between your yellow cones and try not creep into the grid, okay? Stay on the outside for us, okay? Let's watch Malcolm. Good. That's right, practice some one touches. Good. Nice, and stop there. Good. So, in soccer, we use the terms man on and time to really help us um, in the game when we are either we're under pressure or we can take our time. Many times this is used in the game to help people. So, in this game, what we're going to do is the term man on means we've got to be quick, which means you're only add one touch. Okay, boys? So, if you say man on, you'll add one touch. All right? Also, the other time, term called time basically means we're gonna take two touches so in a game of soccer time means take your time okay you haven't got an opponent on your shoulder it means you can relax get your head up look into some space and maybe play a pass so time means two touches okay boys so you're gonna play the ball across if you're gonna to shout to command as you pass the ball would you like to show me Malcolm right on. Time. Time. good and freeze good so you can see as a shouting man on they have to take one touch when they shout time, the opponent has to take two touches. The, the, game, the idea of the game is to catch your opponent out. Can you catch them off guard with your pace of your pass and your verbal communication? Okay, take it away, boys. Time. Time. Oh, good, stop there. So as you can see, Malcolm's taking a time. He's taking two touches and his first touch went outside the grid. That means it'll be a point to Mason, okay? You play the game for a pretty much, I would say, to three points. And then you can change around with different partners. I have the whole game going down in grids down the field, okay? Let's give it another go, Malcolm. Let's see if we can get a point back. Man on. Man on. Time. Man on. Man on. Good, so Malcolm played him a naughty pass there, but he still got the point. Played a sharp pass, asked for a man on, and Mason couldn't quite do it. Here we go, Mason, your turn. Time. Time. And on. And on. And on. Uh, good. Well done, Ma Malcolm. Is that 2-1? Yeah. Good. So, a couple of coaching points in this game are basically how the player receives the ball on time, right? On time, you'll see many kids will maybe stop the ball, trap it with the inside, really try and encourage them to use all parts of the feet. For example, Mason, you pass to me. As it comes in, if you touch with the outside, pass on time. Okay? If it comes in again, you can touch with the inside to your other foot and pass back, okay? Make sure you use lots of touches. Practice using different parts of the feet to stop the ball, and then a quick, sharp pass back. Oh, we have a, we have a blooper here, it's fallen over, but we'll still carry on. Okay, here we go. Can Malcolm get the win? Time. Man on. Oh, well done, Malcolm, 3-1. Winner, how'd you feel? Great. Good. With regards to progressions with this game, I'd bring in 2v2. So right now it's 1v1. You could bring in another player into the zone, another player into this side, and just play 2v2. Same game, but when the ball comes in, you have to do the command together. So if it's man on, one of you takes the touch and passes it back. But if it's time, you both must take a touch. We'll just do a quick example of this. Let me give Malcolm the ball. If me and Mason were partners, and we're like this, we're gonna communicate. Okay, Mason, you got the left, I got the right. If Malcolm passes it and said time, I'll take a touch. Mason plays it back on his Head touch. On. Good. Head on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Time. Time. Two touch. One, two. Time. Good. Head on. Ah, good. Well done, Malcolm. Malcolm's killing us, isn't he, Mace? Good job, Malcolm. So, uh, as you can see, you can actually play the game 2v1 if you were struggling for numbers. If you now have the players in your team to fill out the grids, you could also do 2v1. Okay? Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time on Skills and Drills. Thank you.